and welcome to New Crop powered by NASCOM's 10,000 Startups. We are your final destination for all things startup. In our segment Guru Gyan, we speak to startup successes who share their journey. Today's Guru is Anand Chandrasekharan, former CPO of Snapdeal and currently angel investor to over 15 startups. I think uh, Snapdeal is trying to do something that I think is a very important model uh, for how a lot of categories will grow, which is uh, you know to use the model of a marketplace uh, to bring you know demand and supply uh, to meet each other. Uh, and when you do it in an elegant way, I think you can remove a lot of inefficiency uh, from the system. Also, you know, it was a company uh, with uh, the average age is about 25, 26 years old. So obviously, a lot of young folks. You know, incredible energy within the company. Uh, but also, you know, uh, there wasn't a lot of, uh, you know, the people in the company had gone through the same experience before. So not only were people in the company doing stuff for the first time, but sometimes the company was solving a problem that nobody had solved in the industry before. Uh, so we had to sort of differentiate between problems where, uh, you know, I, I used to sort of say, uh, you know, sometimes the problem was defined, the solution was not defined. Uh, sometimes the solution was clear, but we had to go and frame the problem better. And in some instances, neither the problem nor the solution solution was clear, right? it was very true startup uh, nature and so you had to sort of uh, set up experiments uh, so that you got a hang of you know the problem also better as you went along. Um, so I think that probably was the, lar the biggest challenge. <laughs> Best days for me were the days when someone in my team did something that, you know, in the first conversation that I had with them about that role, uh, not only did they, uh, not only had they never done that job before, uh, but, uh, you know, they didn't think they were right for that job at Snapdeal. Uh, and so we, we would have like long chats about why they were great for the job and why they had it in them to do that. Uh, and then they would go and, go and prove themselves wrong and build something that not only have they not built, but it's not been built in India. So they, they were the first team, that was the first product manager, uh, that was the first engineering team to ever build that in India. So to me, I think sad days are the ones where, you know, people inside the company, uh, you know, make compromises that are kind of artificial compromises, uh, just to, for some short term win. And in, in, in doing so, they uh, actually, you know, uh, don't deliver the best consumer experience uh, that they can. <laughs> you know the biggest challenge was just keeping your platform up and running uh, you know as it gets pounded you know over a four week five week period um, and actually you know uh, there is a team of very silent uh, kind of warriors who made that happen uh, and uh, you know they were really literally on call you know 40 50 people are uh, 24 7 making sure our search is up and the site itself is up and some of the platform components are all up and running etc etc um, and uh, we had about 99.99 percent up time as as is now you know fairly well known in the industry <laughs> Like I was telling you, you know, the, the model of marketplaces uh, is going to uh, allow for more than just e-commerce as a category to grow. Uh, and so I found myself seeing a lot of companies that were creating marketplaces in many categories. Uh, I think also the other thing that started to happen is companies in India were starting to use core technology uh, to solve, you know, very important problems uh, in the country. Uh, you know, everything from uh, uh, physical and computer security, um, uh, you know, using artificial intelligence uh, to sort of automate processes etc uh, etc et and then the third thing the third big trend I saw was uh, the line between offline and online started to kind of blur uh, so you know if you look at a company like Lenskart for instance they have like a marquee store in CP uh, and you don't think of an online first brand like that uh, being the first shop you expect to find in you know a big part of Delhi a big offline part of Delhi so I think that a lot of those lines will blur because in India there aren't that many successful nationwide offline retail chains. So I think there's opportunity for online led uh, franchises to also build offline brands. <laughs> So I would say uh, just once you're clear about a vision, uh, just pursue that vision in a very, uh, very persistent way. Uh, 
and uh, you know don't don't be too carried away by what's fashionable to do today because uh, that will change you know every couple of quarters uh, but i think as long as you're loyal to a vision and hopefully that vision is something very personal to to people uh, you know one 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 thing that i think is very special about where we are in the evolution of the internet uh, in india is for the first time you can build products for your own family and friends and community you know in the past if you built any products in india let's say seven years ago five years ago even uh, it would really be used by some nameless faceless customer in some other country that you're never going to meet right so there's really no customer empathy that you can have but for the first time you know like many of the products i would build uh, by the time the product launched that day and i would come back home two three members of my family would have already used the product and they would have choice words to give me feedback about the product right so we live in a world where uh, our own community and our own neighbors and our own fa family and friends uh, can now be part of the consumer cycle and so I would say really take advantage of that as much as possible because uh, you can now build products for your own kind of backyard. Um, and then the last thing I would say is, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's very tempting to be the next something, you know, it's very tempting to uh, sort of, you know, be the next, you know, X uh, company that was that was in the US or something like that. Uh, but I would say, you know, try and be the first of whatever you are uh, and don't get too carried away by what you are that is similar to other countries and stuff like that.